cutting your hair is harder than cutting other people's hair. So you just, you know, you just got to try it, you know. You might mess a couple people up. You might mess yourself up, but oh well, this hair, it grow back. What? Hey. If I'm rocking, you got to be rolling. Treat the G-side just like a rolly. If it's plotting, I guess I ain't know it. Wavy crew, what it do, man? It's your boy. Baby, A, D, man, and I'm back. Today's video I got for y'all is a self cut. For all y'all quarantine right now, I feel bad for y'all because you know, psst, yeah, boy, I come out home here. I don't need to go to no barbershop. The barbershop is the crib. But yeah, like I said, today I'm just doing a self cut. I'm gonna take y'all through what I gotta do. In one of my previous videos, y'all saw me unbox my three way mirror. This is essential if you wanna cut your own hair. For all y'all out there, you know, scared to cut your own hair. Just do it, bruh. Just do it, bruh. But for real though, if y'all do want to start cutting your own hair, you just need to grab y'all a couple of clippers. You just need, really all you need is like one pair of clippers and then one pair of liners. Your boy got two pairs of clippers and one pair of liners. Like I said, you only need one pair of clippers, but if you want to be extra icy, extra crispy, you got to have two pairs. This is a pair of Andy's Masters. My boy Jory, he had two pairs of Andy's Masters and he just threw me one. This was like my first pair of clippers because I wanted to start cutting my hair. My boy Jory already cut his hair. So he was like, huh, you can have these. This is what I started off with. So boom, that's how I acquired these. These retail for about $100. And then the uh, guards and everything that come with it, like an extra like 30. But yeah, these are the Andy's Masters. Um, you always wanna keep your blades oiled and everything. Cause you know, that's how your clippers last long. I don't know how long Drury had these before me, but these go a long way. Second pair of clippers, I have these Oster 76s. These clippers, was a gift for Christmas from my cousin Kalia. These get these these get your ways busting for real. Like these just a smooth cut. I think these retail at about hundred dollars, like hundred and twelve dollars. And then the guards with it was an extra like thirty. So clippers ain't cheap. So if you really ain't about cutting your hair, don't buy no clippers because you wasting your money at that point. The amount of money I done saved by cutting my own hair is like crazy. Plus the money I done made cutting my own hair, cutting other people's hair and everything. Cause you know once you learn how to cut your own hair it's very easy to cut other people's hair because, you know, cutting your hair is harder than cutting other people's hair. So you just, you know, you just got to try it, you know. You might mess a couple people up. You might mess yourself up. But, oh, well, this hair, it grow back. What? No cap. I done messed myself up a good, like, four, five, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. But you always bounce back. You always bounce back. You get better. You learn from your mistakes. The last pair of clippers or liners, whatever you want to call it, these are the Andy's T outliners. Any barbershop, you're gonna see these in there. Whether it's the wireless pair, whether it's this pair, it's probably gonna be this exact pair. I was thinking about modifying my pair, and, you know, cutting this little part, you make it, you know, pssst. but we ain't, we ain't there yet, we ain't there yet. These are my liners, these are the ones that get you crispy. If your barber ain't using these, he probably messing you up. Um, unless he got something better than these, because there is, they are, there are some better than these, but pssst. These the busters, for real. These retail at about like 70, 80 bucks. Got these on Amazon, Amazon Prime. Get them in two days. That's basically all the materials you really need. Um, as well as, I got I got this little brush, so you know, you can brush your brush off, you know, brush your little taper down, you know, when you tapering yourself. You know, here's a couple of guards for the Osters. Here go a couple of guards for the, um, the Andy's Masters. Got my mirror, and then I also got a, Barber cake, you know, this is essential too. If you don't want to get hair all over yourself or your client, you know, your client, you don't want your client, you know, having to, you know, get their hair cut without, a, without, you know, getting hair all over their clothes and everything. You know, that's just a bad barber, man. You ain't gonna get no tip. You ain't gonna make no bread off it. You know, chill. Get you a cake, get you a mirror, get you some clippers and start cutting your hair, man. You gonna save some money. And like times like this, where you can't go to the barber shop because we quarantined, you gonna be straight. You gonna be straight. Young, young son, young seed. And then as well as, I got another brush and I got a uh, comb, just cause you know, you wanna be able to comb your hair out, you know. I got a do-rag right now, so you know, once I take this do-rag off, I probably got hair that's all laid back here that need combed out, you know, straightened out and everything. So, I'ma stop with all the talking. Let's go ahead and get to the haircut. I'm probably gonna get y'all some different angles. Hold on, let me, let me, let me start off by unragging real quick. Let me unrag for y'all real quick. Show y'all these waves real quick. These waves busting. Fun fact, other people, some people also use mirrors to cut their hair. Um, rather than the three-way mirror. I do find, me personally, I feel like doing a back taper, when you're doing your back taper, I feel like it's easier to do it in the mirror and in the regular mirror rather than doing it in this thing. But this thing work as well, you just gotta know your angles. You gotta, you gotta learn your angles and be able to hit them. I'm gonna go ahead and rag for y'all. So 
I'm gonna need y'all to step back a little bit. Don't want y'all to get wet. Don't want y'all to drown or nothing. Cause you know, pss, what's up under this do rag? Pss. Busting. As y'all can see, you know, I got the swirl going on. The waves busting a little bit. You know, they out there, you know. Like I said, if you drown, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you got any questions about anything I'm doing in the video, just leave a comment down below. You know, I'm gonna answer them. You know, I ain't, I ain't that famous, you know what I'm saying? I'm checking all my comments. You know, I'm replying to all my comments. But yeah, we finna go ahead and get into the cut. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, so the first thing I do when I start to cut my hair is uh, decide how long I want my hair to be or you know how long how short whatever you want to say but you get the point um, I depict on what guard I want to use um, sometimes I use a one sometimes I use a two this time I'm gonna be using a two because I don't know if I want it that low but you can always cut it lower anytime throughout the haircut so it's not a big deal on how low you go the first time because like I said you can always go lower so if I were y'all I would start off with a longer length so you're not messing your hair up so you know you gotta know your guards first before you get the you just cut stuff because all guards are different. A two on my Osters is a different than a two on my Andy's Masters. So yeah, you just wanna know what you're doing. Don't don't just hop in and just think you know what you're doing and just doing it because you're gonna mess yourself up. I'm gonna start by cutting the bulk of my hair off. We're gonna see how much it take off. If it don't take that much off, then we might go shorter. We're gonna start off with this two. So yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get the cutting real quick. Up. Uh, up. Uh, yeah. First you wanna throw this little cape on. So you don't get no hair off all on your, oh, yourself. Sometimes I don't be liking wearing this though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause it be all up, all up in the way. There we go. Like I said at the beginning of the video, these these sound different than some Andy Master. Listen to these real quick. These sound like they finna get you crispy. We're gonna start off by using these 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 osters. Before we even get the cutting, we're gonna hit it with a little little breast session real quick. Then we're gonna get the cut in. You wanna make sure all your hair look like see this right there? You see this right there? That's from my new rag. If I wouldn't have cut that, if I wouldn't have, you know, got it combed out, got it, you know, breast out. We just gonna have a big gap right there. Man, look at my liner. You know I'm you know I'm overdue for a cut when this happened. Woo -hoo. Woo. Watch how crispy I get it though by the end of the video. I'm gonna get you a comb, comb it down real quick. You just wanna mainly make sure your edges, like the edges out here all combed out. Cause that's where your do rag lay, and that's where you know you get that, you get that that little dash of like no hair, a baldness, because it was all clumped up. You know, do rag, you know, some people roll their do rag up, some people put their do rags on too tight, some people have them too high. All right, we, we brushed out, we combed out, so now we can get the, get the cutting. I got the three way mirror, but uh, when you cutting waves, let me turn this off real quick. When you cutting waves, this is just a you know, a wave cutting video. I mean, you can cut your hair if you don't got waves, you can cut it like you know, as long as you're giving yourself a fade or you know, something like that. But when you're cutting your hair, you just want to cut with the grain. If you don't got waves and you want to cut against your grain or you want to cut with a grain length, let me explain what the grain is first. So the grain is basically which way your waves go. So my waves go this way, so that's my grain. My grain is going this way. So if I'm going with the grain, I'm going this way. If I'm going against the grain, you're going going that way. You don't want to go against the grain because you know, you get, you don't want to go against the grain, let me just say that. The only reason people want to go against the grain is if they cutting their waves out, they want to start a new pattern. You know, if you're in the military, you got to get them buzz cuts. You know, they cut, they cut your hair all the way off or you know, you just you just want to go bald or you just want to all even. Other than that, there's no reason you should be going against the grain. I got the swirl pattern going on. So basically, I'm going to be cutting my hair with my pattern as if I'm brushing.
Aight, boom. So that was like the little first little session of the knockdown. The key to cutting your hair the best and to having the best cut is to go over it multiple times, you know, because you never can like, it's like cutting grass, you know, you gotta, you gotta go over it one time, then you gotta go over it again, just to make sure you know you got every single blade of grass. Same thing with your hair. And when you're going over it, you wanna go over it one time, you wanna go over it again, you know, you wanna, you wanna keep going over it just because, you know, you wanna make sure it's all even, you wanna make sure, you know, it's all the two, it's all the same height. Cause you know who wanna walk around with patches. Young boy, what, what happened to your mid? What, what happened to your hair? What you talking about? Your head. What happened to your head? That's what I'm talking about. Call that me patch. patch dog. Don't don't disrespect me. Oh, they call you patch? You want some shit, patch? So that was the first little knockdown. It did knock a it knocked a good length off. Um I could go lower. I don't know if I wanna go lower, because it's like <laughs> I'm not a low cut guy. I like my way to be dark. I like the top of my hair to be dark. See, that's the good thing about whenever you cut your own hair too. You control everything. Can't nobody cut your hair lower than what you want it. Can't nobody taper it higher than what you want it. But yeah, um, after you knock your hair down, you just wanna give yourself a good little brush. Get all your hair back in place and then go over it one more time. All right, boom. All right, I feel like I like this length. Looking pretty good to me. Everything knocked all down to the same length. I'm gonna knock it down to the two. We will no longer be using the officers anymore. Those are mainly for just knocking the hair down. Um, I don't use those for tapering or anything like that. We're not gonna go on to the Andy's Masters and we're gonna get this taper on. Next, we have the tapering part of these sessions. Um, you see how these sound? They sound different than the, uh, the Osters. Now we are gonna taper the hair. Uh, I said the hair, like what else are we gonna taper? So now we are gonna taper this up, you know, as you see it look all bogus right now. The taper is like one of the, one of the, one of the parts that make your waves bust the most. So if the taper off, then the waves gonna be off, you know, you feel me? It's not really much to the taper, it's about paying attention. Cause when you tapering, you blend it, and it's a guard, and not a guard, it's a, um, there's a lever on the, on the, on the, on the clippers. So if you do something with this lever open, and then you do something with it closed, you gonna fuck your shit up, and it, it's bound to happen. Cause I done did it before. I done, I done went with a close, which is lower than the open. I done went close and went high, and I was like, damn, fuck my shit up. So then I had to take my my taper all the way back here. So you know, like, I made it, I made it work. I made it work. But you know, it wasn't supposed to be like that. So just paying attention to when you opening and closing, and then you'll be alright. Other than that, it's all about you know, hitting your lines and you know, <laughs> blending them right. First step when I'm tapering my hair, the first step I do is I is close, lever close, and then you take it, and then you go up. Well, it depends on if you got a beard too. It depends on if you got a beard. I got a little some some right here, you know what I'm saying? I got a little some some right there. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got a little some some growing, you know? It's growing, you know, it's on the way. You know, it's up and coming. So some people don't like to, to taper their beard all the way. They want their beard to show. Like they want this line, like they want this right here to show. And then some people, they want that fade and they want to just fade into their beard. Today, I'm just gonna fade it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fade it all the way. Like I ain't gonna leave no, I'm just gonna bald it. I'm gonna bald it out right here. And then we gonna taper it up. So yeah, let's get started. We got a zero, no guard, closed. This is the lowest that these clippers can get. And then we just gonna go up a half an inch. Um, we're gonna start about right here and then we're gonna go up to like right here. All right, boom, boom, step one. Get your little guy line going, that's your ball line. That's what, you, that's what you're gonna fade up to. Whenever you're tapering, you always wanna have your little brush, brush in handy, just so you can, you know, knock it down a little bit. Just so you make sure all your hair laying down so you're not tapering some and then you know it's not in, in the right place of where it's supposed to be. All right, next step in the tapering phase is open. So open your lever and then, Make sure you're not pushing hard on your head, cause look, look, 
So if I'm pushing hard on my head, boom, that lever went up. You could be pushing and trying to taper and you tapering too hard and then boom, your shit low and now your shit fucked up. So be careful, taper with caution. Next step, we open it up, boom. Same thing though, we going up a half an inch. Boom, second step, boom, knock that down. So as you can see, this was like our first step right here. After this step right here, we went to right here. See, you can go higher on your taper or you can go lower. Me, I just like my taper, you know, subtle, and then instantly grab your one guard, throw your one guard on there, open, and we go up some more. Boom. That's your third one. So just taking it up like right here. All this right here. Was one open. So we got one open, regular open, and then we got the ball lined up at the bottom. So now I am going to be blending my lines. So these are just my guidelines. The taper ain't done yet. Um, so once we blend these in, then it's gonna be busting a little bit more. Then I'm also gonna knock it down a little bit more. Also, sometimes I like to throw the little two guard on there guard open and then go up on my taper go against the grain and just knock any of that extra hair that we don't need knock it off all right so next these are going to be your blending lines so for your blending lines you take your zero guard this is a zero guard throw that on there You want to close your zero guard. Your zero, you don't want it sounding like this. You want it sounding like, like that. So then you want to go a low. Um, but yeah, instantly. So then you take your zero guard, and basically what you're going to be tapering, you taper in between your, your, your second guideline and your third guideline. So your one open, and then your regular open, no guard. You just take the guard off and then you just blend that shit in. And then while I'm right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit my beard with the the no guard. Open. Just so I get out of fade look a little bit more. And then boom. We got one taper done. This taper ain't done yet. This taper done, you feel me? My taper be looking a little different on both sides because like I said, um, this one, my waves go down and then this side, my waves go straight. So if I had the beehive, my taper look the same on both sides. That's why the barbers be like, oh man, it's so hard to cut your hair. It's just because my hair go, my hair is a whole different, like it's a different texture. And then also it go, it, it got a whole different pattern. So basically what I do with this side, I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. I'm really not gonna go too in depth of explaining to y'all what I do with it. Um, I'm just gonna switch the angles and then we gonna get the taper on the other side. So 
All right, so now we got the new angle. I'm gonna go ahead and get this right, I said right taper, the left taper, this left taper, by the way. This is my left side. Um, we're gonna get this left side busting, and then we'll get back to y'all. Whatever you do to this side, you have to do to this side. Ooh, sometimes you're you gonna, you gonna see me going like, uh, 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 just to make sure I'm hitting my shit on the right, right side, you know, make sure everything all even, make sure everything look the same on each side, but yeah. All right, y'all, different angle again. But, all right, so I just finished up the side taper. You see it, hold on, lip focus, lip focus. Uh -huh, you see it, bam, taper to the beard, all that. Um, and then I finished this other side taper. Uh -huh, you see it. Cold. Tapers are done on the sides. Only thing left we have to do is to taper that back and then we have to taper, not even taper, but um, you know, line myself up you know i ain't got a liner right now all right like i said at the beginning of the video the back taper is probably the, the the hardest part of doing this haircut because you can't see the back of your head you really gotta rely on the mirrors and that's like you really gotta rely on them you gotta really <laughs> peep the back tattoo peep the back tattoo you know what i'm saying tattoo tour coming up soon we're gonna show y'all all the tats you know all the new tats so let's get into this back taper it's the same, it's the same process of doing the, the side tapers, you know, the closed guard with the ball line, then the open guard, the open no guard, um, go up your next line, and then the open one guard, go up your next line, and then blend them with the other, the zero guard close, and then the no guard close. So, same process, so I'm not going to be talking through the process, I'm just going to get it done, and then we're going to get to the line portion.
All right, y'all, so I just finished up the back taper. The only thing we have left now is the lining. And the lining is the most important part because that's where you get all the holes at. Everybody gonna see your lining if you mess your lining up. Hey, I'm sorry, but it's gonna grow back. But hey, next time, just be careful. I know one time I did mess my lining up. It was the first time I used these. Fresh out the box, I used these. And they were super, super duper, uber sharp. And I did my lining and I left like big ass, like big, like this right here. This was from the first time I did my line. I really like burnt or whatever you want to call it, burnt, cut, all that. And like my corners had like big ass like <laughs> scabs and everything on them because I like was going so hard in my line. I was like, because I was trying to get it crispy. But yeah, all I got to say is just be careful on your lining. Take your time. Don't rush. You know, make sure you, you hitting your angles right. Make sure everything, you know, laid the right way and make sure you, you paying attention. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the final part of the cut. And this is probably like the best part of the cut. This is like when a lady get her, when a female get her edges laid, when she get her eyebrows done, when she get, you know, her toes done, you know, any of that stuff. This is what the lining is to the fellas. The lining is one of the most crucial parts of the cut and one of the most crucial parts of your appearance. If you walk up to a girl and your lining all dusty, she not finna go, you know what I'm saying? She gonna be like, damn, that nigga lining dusty. You need a cut, you need a haircut. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the swoop, get the beard going, get the mustache, get the swoop over here. And then we gonna hit it, hit the back behind the ear, all that, and then we done. All right, y'all, that's the end of the video. Um, that's how you self-cut your hair. I don't, I don't know if that's the way you would say that. How you give yourself a self-cut, or that's how you self-cut your hair. I don't know. Leave it in the comments which one you think it is. You know, get your lining crisp, you get your taper going, uh, line your beard up a little bit, get your back taper, get your back lined up. It's not that hard to learn, man. If y'all on the verge of wanting to cut your hair or not knowing if y'all, or, or just nervous to cut your own hair, I was in the same boat. But I went ahead and just dived in there and you know, these are the results. I saved so much money. I used to go to the barbershop every two weeks. Um, sometimes I go every week just to get a fade, you know, fade once a week, fucking do rag. I used to post it on my Snapchat every week. Me 
because I usually go get a cut every single week just because the baby said it. Now I can cut my hair every day for free or every other week for free. Or I can go three weeks without cutting my hair and cut my hair that day because it's what I feel like cutting my hair. And nobody is messing my hair up. It's me, I have all control over my hair. Don't don't think you're not gonna mess up. You are gonna mess up, it happens. It's hair, it grows back. You might make a little mess up, but then next time you know you're not gonna mess up because you're gonna be extra cautious of what you're doing. So yeah, you learn from your mistakes, but if you are out there and you are wanting to learn how to cut your hair, just hop on YouTube. Um, look up some videos, get your stuff that you need, get you a mirror, get you some clippers, get you some liners, um, and then you up and going. Just keep practicing. Practice on your friends. That's how I uh, learned how to cut as well. Um, I had a couple homies, they let me cut their hair. You know, I ain't messing them up. I messed one up. I messed one of them up, but you know, yeah, be alright. You know, it wasn't bad. You know what I'm saying? It just was, it, it was off a little bit. But I learned from my mistakes and I won't make that mistake again. But that's all I got for y'all. If y'all like the video, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. A lot of lit content coming up. You ain't gonna miss it. That's all I got for y'all though. Make sure y'all join the wave. Make sure y'all stay <laughs> wavy, man. Gang, gang. I am the one, the way your time don't need a gun to get respect up on the street.